Okay, welcome to coding, folks. I just want to walk you through these exercises because I don't want anyone to be confused at the beginning of this coding course. So let's take a look at this page here. We have our overview, we have our vocab, and we have new code that we will be learning today. Okay, this is code.org. This is uh, what they call uh, Code Studio. And here you can see the levels that we are looking at. And I'm going to walk you through these levels today. Right now we are on Lesson 3, our intro to HTML. Let's take a look at the vocab to start. HTML, that is the language we are going to be using. This is an acronym that stands for Hypertext Markup Language, a language used to create web pages. HTML element. This is very important. A piece of a website marked by a start tag and often closed with an end tag. These are all elements. So we have the P element, the HTML element, the head element, doc type, that's a declaration, but that's also an element, and the body element. HTML tag, the special set of characters that indicates the start and end of an HTML element and that element's type. There is always an opening and closing tag, okay? Opening and closing. Here you see two P's, right? This one is an opening tag. The one on the right is a closing tag. Remember that. Website content, website structure, so the content is what's on it, text, images, and the structure is how it is placed. So let's continue. So this is WebLab or Code Studio, as we will be referring to it later. So it says, do this. I want you to read these directions. Try typing something in the workspace. Right here is the workspace. Press refresh and save to see it in the preview area. Over here is the preview area. So my period one class is a bunch of bums. Just kidding. You guys aren't a bunch of bums. I'm just joking. Refresh and save. My period one class is a bunch of bums. Just kidding. So we see that here. Over here, I want to point out that there are page names. So this page name is index.html. I just want you to note that, okay? So uh, we saw that in the workspace, whatever I type in shows up over here. Now let's move on. Uh, I'm going to skip three because we're going to watch that video as a class. Let's move on to four. Explore HTML. As I said earlier, you're going to have to do a lot of direction reading in this class. So get used to it. Here is the directions. You will often find tips here. So let's read. This is a web page written in HTML, the language of the web. You will learn more about how it works, but first explore it by using the inspector tool. Right away, you're probably asking yourself, what on earth is the inspector tool? Look at that. How do I use the inspector tool? The inspector tool is a great way to learn more about unfamiliar code in WebLab. To turn on the inspector tool, click inspector off. That's right here. You will know that the inspector tool is on because the button will turn white and say inspector on. Once you turn on the inspector tool, you can hover over anything in the preview area. Remember, this is the preview area. And WebLab will highlight the code that is making that part of the page appear. So, look, we highlight Welcome to WebLab, and over here, Welcome to WebLab is highlighted. Okay, so let's read the Do This section. The Do This section is where they are asking you to do things. This is what I want you to do. So, do this. Click the tip, How Do I Use the Inspector Tool? Well, I already did that on the right, so we already did that. Follow the instructions in the web page to explore the web page and discuss with a partner how it is working. This is the web page, okay? So it says follow the instructions in the web page. Let's read it. This is a web page. You are looking at an actual web page written in HTML, the language of the web. On the left side, you can see the code used by your computer to create this page. Inspector tool. Use the inspector tool to see what pieces of code are linked to what text on the web page. 
go through it with a partner so you can discuss what you're seeing. Discuss. With a friend, discuss the following questions. What text is appearing in both the code and the web page? How is this language communicating extra information about the way to represent text? Hmm. That's kind of a confusing question. How is this language? Read it over and over until you figure it out. When you have done all this, click finish. All right, this will take you to video two. We're going to skip that because we're going to watch that together as a class. Okay, HTML tags. Remember earlier I said this is very important? Okay, it is. So I'm going to skip. I want you guys to read this part. Okay, but I'm going to skip to this part, HTML tags, because I want to point some things out to you. As I said, there is an opening tag. Look at this. Then there's content, and there's a closing tag. Okay, the entire thing is the element. These are, this is a paragraph element. Okay, you, when you are typing, you want these things to be in between the L, the opening and closing tag okay nothing no text should be outside the opening or closing tags okay let's scroll down where's my scroller there so as I said opening paragraph tag what does it do start of a paragraph paragraphs are just blocks of text in your web page closing paragraph tag marks the end of a paragraph default tags let's take a look at these so every time you create an HTML page, you should have these default tags right here, okay? They're so common, in fact, that all web lab projects will start with them added already, okay? This is what each tag does. You can read it, all right? And W3Schools is just a website that helps you uh, learn about HTML. We might use it. We might not. Let's continue. Okay, add text to the body. When you start any web lab project, it will automatically add all of these tags to your project. When you add content to your projects, you'll need to do it between the body and body tags. Okay, I need you to remember this. You will need to do it between the body and body tags. When you add content, You will need to do it between the body and body tags. That's the opening body and the closing body tags because it should be part of the body of your web page. Any content you add to your projects should be between the opening and closing body tags. Okay, so let's follow the do this instructions. Write three separate sentences about any topic you like inside of the body tags of your web page. Okay, so I do that. Look at that opening body tag closing body tag. I want it to be in between that. So period one is full of monsters. Period three has Vaughn in it dot dot dot. And period seven has a bunch of Terrific kids. Cough, not cough. Okay. So I did the first instruction. Write three separate sentences about any topic you like inside of the body tags of your web page. I'm going to hit refresh and save. Well, this was already in there. I don't know why I had to hit refresh and save. Oh, it says, if you don't see the changes. Okay, compare your work with a neighbor. Make sure you're placing code in the same place. Now, let's move on. Use paragraph tags. The opening and closing paragraph tags, or paragraph, start, and end tags, are placed around text to indicate that it is part of a paragraph. Placing text between paragraph, start, and end tags lets the computer know that it should be displayed differently, usually just by spacing it out from other text. Okay, well, I don't really know what they're saying, so I'm going to look over here. What is a paragraph element? 
paragraphs are marked by opening and closing paragraph tags. Okay, that makes sense. How do I make multiple paragraphs? Here's an example of several paragraph tags in a row. Okay, so that's multiple paragraphs. Cool. I'm going to get these out of here so they're not distracting me. Do this. Place the text you just wrote inside at least two separate paragraphs by surrounding it with P, opening P and closing P tags. Okay, cool. So I'm going to make, I'm going to do three. So find these keys on your keyboard. There's an opening paragraph tag. I'm going to put the closing one after that sentence. Uh, they're going to come on with the afternoon announcement soon. This will disrupt my presentation. I don't want to do that. All right, so there's one paragraph. I'm going to hit enter to make my code neat. I like doing that. And I'm going to make a new paragraph by doing an opening tag there and a closing tag here. Oh, Find those keys. And I'm going to edit this to make it look like it's a separate sentence. OK. Uh, cool. Three different paragraphs. Good. Okay, so we got interrupted by the afternoon announcements, but I just finished this first instruction. So, what do you do? You move on to the next instruction. Let's get that four teachers only out of here. Compare the results with the neighbor. What has changed about the way your text is displayed? Uh, well, it separated it hmm, with the space. Let's see if, if I didn't put these on different lines, what would happen? Let's see. Refresh and save. Oh, still on different lines. So the paragraph tags are very helpful. Look at what they do. They separate the text into different paragraphs. Perfect. Okay, the last level in lesson three. Debug. Fix the broken tags. This simple web page has some issues which are preventing the content from being displayed correctly. Identify and fix these issues. This practice is also called debugging your code. Debugging, it means fixing your code, okay? If you have any questions, they might be answered right here. Let's see what they want us to do. Do this, fix the broken code so that the web page displays correctly. Okay, let's look at the code. So this sentence, and read it, this sentence should be on its own. Well, let's look over here. This sentence should be on its own. So should this one. Okay, so it, I think they want this to be a separate paragraph, this to be a separate paragraph. Yeah, 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 okay, so I see. There is only an opening, yeah, there's only an opening paragraph tag here, so I'm going to put a closing paragraph tag. Whoops. And then there's no opening paragraph ta tag down here, so I'm going to put an opening paragraph tag. And it should work. Let's see, refresh and see. All right, yeah, cool. All right, so once you do that, you're done for this lesson. Thank you for your attention, and I hope this video was helpful.